Now the dish ratatouille gained its importance way before that naughty little rat put it on the world map. While ratatouille has been a dish that has been loved all across France, it's also got great hints of various styles and with the movie bringing it bang into center stage, I've seen some really quirky, interesting and weird combinations of this famed dish come about. I'm going to teach you how to create this gourmet dish but at the same time make it so simple to create in one's home. This dish is going to elevate your entire dining experience making it the true star that it deserves to be. Hey, I'm Jason and let's get to creating this gourmet dish extremely easy. The famed tomato sauce that we learned how to create earlier is what forms the base of this beautiful ratatouille. Now, what I've done is I'm going to put it in a cast iron pan and put it into the oven. However, if you do not have an oven readily available, you can cook it on a slow simmer in a non-stick pan or a normal frying pan, just ensure it's covered to get the same result. So about two cups of tomato sauce that has been created forms the base of this beautiful ratatouille dish. Quite stylish when you see the overall result. So we're just going to layer this down and we're going to drizzle with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So about a tablespoon of it goes on top of this really thick and very chunky sauce. Now ratatouille per se has got various styles in which it has been created. Some of the vegetables are diced, some of the vegetables are cut coarsely and like me some of the vegetables get sliced. So I've got about a centimeter thick of some brinjal, some onion, some tomato, some zucchini and some squash and I'm going to form a train. So firstly we get a brinjal, then we take a slice of plum tomato, then we take a thick slice of some zucchini, an onion and a squash and we start lining it straight on the pan. So once that line goes, we start the entire process again to form the perfect round tray. Simple, beautiful and it bakes deliciously. Now for me, this dish brings about a certain level of finesse and glam and even opera to that extent because it's so colorful and it's so playful and all the vegetables are not really encased or masked in a sauce, but they stand out so beautifully. All I'm going to do now is give it a generous sprinkling of some sea salt. Some freshly milled black pepper. And we are going to overload this dish with some grated Parmesan cheese. So about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half. Give it a good cloud formation right on top. It looks like beautiful snow right on top of the ratatouille. And we are going to bake this in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 40 minutes because we want the vegetables to be just about done but retain their original flavor, taste and crunch. So while this is done and ready, it goes straight into a preheated oven. Here it goes in. I'm going to keep the temperature at 180 for 40 minutes. Here we have it, the ratatouille has been baking for a good 40 minutes. Just got the right level of crunch and the flavors are paired beautifully. It's time to get to trying out this signature classic with a quite a delectable twist to it. I enjoy creating a large batch whenever I make ratatouille because while it's enjoyed as a meal either for lunch or for dinner, the remnants of it actually goes into creating the most flavorful and loved by the whole family sandwiches. I like to pair them inside either a siabata or a panini 
grill it to perfection and enjoy it either as a snack or as a midnight meal. I hope you've enjoyed creating this beautiful version, something new, something twisted, yet so simple and easy to create at home for the family. Don't forget to show some love by hitting on the like button and do subscribe to my channel.